Victoria Platia now has electricity in her home for the first time ever. It's enough to power several lamps and charge her cell phone. Victoria lives in the first eye shack or improved shack in the slum of Enkanani. The energy saving dwelling has its own rooftop solar panel. I'm very grateful for my eye shack. Of course, we need real houses, but first we need electricity. What can we do in our houses without electricity? We're poor, desperate, and have no work. Enkanani is an informal settlement outside Cape Town, inhabited by the poorest of the poor. It has about 8,000 residents, no electricity, and only limited access to running water. Victoria lives with her three children in a single room that's only 15 square metres. Millions of South Africans live in informal settlements. They could wait years to get government low-cost housing. That's why Andreas Keller of the University of Stellenbosch set about devising a temporary solution. Whilst people will be living in shacks for a long time, we need to find ways in which to make shacks a lot better. Um, so certainly we're not advocating people to stay in shacks forever, certainly not. But we need to find innovative and creative ways in which to improve the shack today. Yeah. Victoria's shack is a prototype. Keller plans to build a hundred eye shacks in Enkanani and eventually export the concept to the rest of the country and beyond. Yeah. Keller and his team spent eight months refining the design. They incorporated ideas from local residents. The residents will be able to build dwellings themselves using local materials. The team is pleased with the result. With a few simple modifications, the shack is now energy efficient. So all the different um, disciplinary inputs that we received from the various uh, stakeholders involved in the project both uh, the knowledge of the community members in Inkanini, as well as various um, architects, earth building specialists. The prototype took 12 days to build and cost about 550 euros. One wall is made of straw and mud. It's insulated with recycled cardboard boxes sprayed with fire retardant paint and inside out milk cartons, all materials that are easily available in the township. Victor Matello also lives in Enkanani. He helped build the prototype and retrofitted his own shack. Now he works for the iShack project, monitoring the solar panels. <laughs> Firstly, we, because I'm here around and I'm just I'm taking care of the, the panels on top and see if there is anything that is problem because the, the weather is used to be windy sometimes. And Victoria says her quality of life is much improved. Her shack used to be like her neighbours. Tandaswa Vali shack is made out of wood from the town dump. It has no windows and the roof leaks when it rains. But the worst thing is that it has no light. I'd also like to live in an ice shack. It's very cold here in the winter and my children get sick a lot. Then we light a fire in here, but that's dangerous because of the wooden walls. For Victoria Platia, the eye shack is a first step. She plans to put herself on the waiting list for low-cost housing and move her family out of the slum someday.